Welcome to this Let's Talk Machine Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we demonstrate using both the Create Planes and Trim by Surfaces commands in order to obtain a half-symmetry model. This becomes useful when users only want to focus on and mesh half of their models to help reduce the size of their grid. In PointWise, I've imported a CAD model of NASA's X-38 Crew Return Vehicle prototype. Notice this geometry is symmetric about a constant y equals zero plane, and I'm only interested in meshing half of this model. If I ever need a mesh representing the entire model, then I can mirror the final grid created for the half model about this constant y equals zero plane of symmetry later on. First, I'll create my constant y equals zero plane in pointwise by navigating to the planes panel. To do this, select planes from the create menu. Details about creating new planes using the create planes command has been highlighted in an earlier video which you can review using this URL. For this example, creating a constant y equals zero plane is very straightforward. First, make sure that the constant X, Y, or Z radio button is selected in the planes mode frame, and then select the radio button next to Y equals. The default value of zero in the corresponding entry field is already set to the value I need. So I can go ahead and click OK to create the constant Y equals zero plane and exit the planes panel. To split this model, I'll select Trim by Surfaces from the Edit menu, which opens the Trim by Surfaces panel. Again, further details for using the Trim by Surfaces command can be reviewed in an earlier Tutorial Tuesday video at this URL if needed. In the Entity Selection frame, the Group A radio button is selected, and I'm prompted to select one set of surfaces to be used. I'll go ahead and select the model, toggle the Entity Selection radio button to Group B, and then select the constant Y plane. I'll keep the intersection tolerance set to its default value and then click the imprint button to split the model surfaces. The number of new quilts that are created by splitting surfaces appears in the table displayed at the top of the panel. A non-zero value confirms that these surfaces have been split. I can save these changes and exit the trim by surfaces panel by clicking OK. With the surfaces of my model split along the constant y equals zero plane, I can either discard half of the surfaces by first selecting them and deleting them, or stashing them away in a new layer. And that is an overview of how to use the inherent symmetry of your CAD models to make smaller grids and pointwise while expediting the process of meshing. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.